Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another Sew With Me Saturday. Today is going to be something that has been requested, 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 and that is an apron. It's gonna be a full length bib, chef's apron, whatever you like to call them. I had a rough time doing this. My sewing machine broke halfway through. The bobbin um, assembly, the bobbin holder broke. So I had to stop what I was doing, of course, because you can't sew without that. I had to order a new one and wait for that to come in and then yada yada. So we got it done. We got it done. That's why you'll notice a change of clothes halfway through the video and a lot of repeating at the end of the video. Real life around here, you know that. But let's get started. You're gonna need a yard of fabric. You're gonna need the printable pattern that I linked down in the description box below. Matching thread, your sewing machine, and just a little bit of time. So let's get started. So I laid out the fabric and I folded it in half widthwise. And then I took the pattern that we printed, cut out, and taped together, and I put it on the fold of the fabric. I pinned it down so I could cut it out. Make sure it is nice and straight on the fold. Just cut all the way around the pattern. And then when that's done, you have the full bodice. We can set that aside because next we have to work on the straps. Sorry for the awkward camera angles. It was tough trying to manipulate the tripod and the mat and everything else. Now the instructions tell you to cut them out two and a half inches wide. I am not doing that. Two and a half inches wide is very, very narrow and it makes it very hard to turn the fabric right side out. So I am going to cut them four inches wide. The first thing I'm gonna do is cut the selvage off of the end, just so I have a nice clean edge to work with. And of course I pick up the rotary cutter that has the dull blade. I have two rotary cutters. I need to learn to change the blade at the same time in both of them. Because no matter what, I'm always going to pick up the dull one. I do change it out in a little bit. But I should have just stopped and changed it then. I'm going to even up the bottom also. Just to make sure the fabric is nice and even and I get a nice straight cut. Ah, now I have the one with the nice sharp blade. So we're going to cut our waist straps first. And like I said, I am cutting them four inches wide instead of two and a half. And I am cutting them 35 inches long, the entire length of the fabric. I'm just lining up my straight edge and cutting. Now, if you do not have a cutting mat or a straight edge or a rotary cutter, don't worry about it. Use a ruler and a pair of scissors. That will work just fine. I did not get all my equipment overnight. I used coupons at Joann's or sales at Joann's and got things one at a time. Now I'm just going to cut out the neck straps and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to make them four inches wide instead of two and a half. But these are only going to be 24 inches long. The last thing to cut out is the pocket. The pocket is optional, but it is nice. If you're going to cut out the pocket, cut it 9 inches by 7 inches. Now, if you notice, the fabric is still doubled, so I got two neck straps and two waist straps, which we need. I didn't need two pockets, so we'll just keep one and ditch the other. The next thing we have to do is iron the hem in. So on the bodice, we're going to take it and we're going to fold it over a quarter inch and then another quarter inch and we're going to press it all the way around and pin it. This fabric is very soft. It is home decor fabric, but it was nice and soft. So it didn't iron down very well. It kept 
flopping open. Open. Now for the straps, we're just going to fold them in half, right sides together. And the pocket is a little bit different. I'll explain the pocket as I'm ironing it. So next thing we have to do is just go to the ironing board. So with the bodice, I'm just folding it down a quarter inch and then another quarter inch. So we have a nice finished edge. There won't be any raw edges. It will not unravel. And then I'm pinning it because it's not staying ironed flat. So we're just going to go all the way around with that. Just being careful on the curve. It does lay down nicely. The neck straps and the waist straps we're just doing in half. I'm not going to bother pinning those. Then the pocket. Three of the sides, two long sides and a short side, we're going to fold in an eighth of an inch and then another eighth of an inch. We're going to iron it down and we're going to pin it. And yes, I kept burning my fingers. So wait until the fabric cools a little before you pin it. Now the top edge of the pocket is going to be a little different. The top edge we're going to fold in half, uh, down a half an inch and then another half an inch because that'll be our nice finished edge. When we take this back to the sewing machine, we're only going to sew the top edge. The other edges will get sewn shut when we sew them to the apron, but you'll see that when we do it. So there I am doing the top edge and burning my fingers. So like I said, when it goes back to the sewing machine, it's just that top edge that's going to be sewn. So let's get back to the sewing machine and get this put together. The first thing we're going to do is the neck and the waist straps. They're a quick straight stitch all the way down with the right sides together. Once they're sewn, all four of them, you just need to turn them right side out. What you can do is use your fingers and just push it through or you can use a fabric turning tool, which you can get pretty cheaply at Joann's or Amazon. Or you can sew one end of it shut and use a chopstick to push it through. Next, we're going to sew the bodice of the apron, that hem. I just go right straight down the middle. Just go nice and slow on the curve and then down the straightaways. Once that whole thing is sewn, you can take out all your pins and we are ready to sew on the straps. Before we sew them on, I forgot we need to close off the ends. Before you sew them, you need to iron them. See, I'm forgetting it all. Iron them flat with the seam right down the middle and tuck the ends in and sew the ends closed. Then we're going to grab the pocket, and like I said, we're just going to sew the top part of the pocket. We're not going to sew the sides. Next, we need to sew the neck straps and the waist straps onto the apron. So we're just going to pin one neck strap at the top of the apron, and the other one opposite it also at the top of the apron. I did not measure, I just eyeballed it. Then when we sew this, we're going to go back and forth several times because it is a stress point. So I go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. I like to trim my threads as I go. And then we're just going to do the other one. Same thing, back and forth. And I just position these right at the top with a little overhang and right at the hem edge. Right inside the hem edge, I guess is a better way to say it. Then with the waist straps, they go right after the curve. As soon as the straight part starts again, that's where the waist straps go. And the same thing, right at the top, in a little bit, and they are stress points. So back and forth, back and forth, 
back and forth. Really reinforce the straps. Now it's time to put the apron on and determine where you want the pocket. I think it's easiest to put the apron on. And then I just figure out where I want it. And then I pin it. Just one pin on each side. And then take it back to the machine. Starting at the top of the pocket, I sew right down the one side. Then I sew across the bottom. And then up the other side. I only sew this one time. The pocket is not a huge stress point, so I don't worry too much about that. And I just noticed I forgot to put this video on a faster speed. So we're just going to sew nice and slow. And we'll sit here and chat while I finish up that pocket. This is what I get for editing late, 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 late at night. You forget a few steps once in a while. But that's okay. We're all human. So once that pocket is sewn on, all we need to do is trim all of our threads, and that is it. Our apron is complete. It is a pretty easy project to make, and let me tell you, with Christmas coming up, it would make a great gift for the cook in your life, the wannabe cook in your life, the new bride in your life. And let's put this on and model it for you. Let's see if we can do this awkwardly here. Now the straps are a little bulky, I think, at four inches. So maybe I would do three and a half next time. I'm not really sure, but there she is. So my friends, get it? So my, oh my hair. So my friends, there you have it. A full coverage chef's apron. Pretty easy to make, honestly. Um, you know what comes next. What comes next? I'm giving it away. So what I need you to do, if you made it this far, you get a chance to win it. In the comments below, you need to, you can make a comment, which is great, but you also need to drop any of the food emojis. You gotta drop the food emoji to be eligible for the drawing for the apron. Um, it doesn't matter, any food emoji you want, from a hamburger to a sushi roll, as long as it's a food emoji. And then I will, in a week, do a random comment picker and pick a winner for the apron. So I hope you enjoyed this Sew With Me Saturday. I can't believe it took this long to do it. Um, if you watch my daily videos, you will know that a part of my sewing machine broke. That's why I have different clothes on when I started and when I finished. Um, yeah, so I had to get a part and I had to fix it and yeah. Time got away from me, but you're getting it now. So anyway, let me know in the comments below if you can sew an apron and I will link the pattern down below um, exactly what I used. But like I said, I did make those tweaks. I made these, you can tell they're a lot wider just because I wanted it to be easier on me. Um, you can make these, you know, whatever you want. Um, but you know, and what else? Um, yeah, so I'll link that below. You can print out the pattern. It's a free pattern. I, be I believe it's free, at least it used to be. And it's tape it to get, cut it out, tape it together and you're good to go. One yard, that's all. Now the pattern advertises their fabric and it's a little fancier. I just use a, um, yard of decorator fabric like any kind of decorators fabric so that's what you can do too but thank you again for watching and like comment subscribe if you haven't 
And if you know anybody that wants to learn how to make an apron, share this with them. Thanks a lot, guys. And don't forget to drop the food emoji. I will see you soon for another Sew With Me Saturday.